Good morning students. Today's subject is algebra and we'll continue with the first chapter sets and I'll continue with exercise 1.3. Last lecture you have done till question number 3. Today we will start with question number 4. What is given? A equal to set A contains element 1, 3, 2, 7. Write 3 subset of set A. Now any 3 you have can write. You can write single element 1, 3, 2, 7 and make the subset. Or you can take 2, 2 elements also. Now I have given 1, 3 I have taken as 1 set. So 1, 3 element is a subset of A. 1, 2, 1 set I have made. 1, 7 by taking this element I have made 1 set. 3, 2 and 3, 7. So any 3 subset you can write. So now we will move to our next question. Question number 5th. What is given in the question? Write the subset relation between the following sets. P is the set of all residents in Pune. M is the set of all residents in Madhya Pradesh. R is the set of all residents in Indore. B is, a subs B is the set of all residents in India. H is the set of all residents in Maharashtra. Now from this we have to make the subset relation. You know Pune lies in Maharashtra, Maharashtra lies in India, Indore lies in Madhya Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh lies in India. Like that we have to make the subset. So first one, the resident of Pune are also resident of Maharashtra. So by symbolic manner, you will represent as P subset H. That is a sign of subset. Next subset, the residents in Pune are also resident of India. So P is subset of B. Next, the resident in Indore are also resident of Madhya Pradesh. So I is subset of M. The resident in Indore are also resident of India. So I is subset of B. The resident of uh, the resident in Madhya Pradesh are also resident in India. M is subset of B. The resident in Maharashtra are also resident of India. H is subset of B. So student total we could make 6 subsets from this relations. Now our next question of this is which set which set from the above can be universal set from the above set. As you know what you mean by universal set. Universal set means the set which contain all the uh, sets under as subset as consideration so which would be the universal set among that set India because India could have all other subset so all sets are subset of B so B set can be universal set of the above set now we'll move to our question number six which set of the number could be universal set for the given below. Now the first question in this what is given A equal to set of multiple of 5, B equal to set of multiple of 7 and C equal to set of multiple of 12. So students first let us write down in listing method. So A equal to 5, 10, 15, 20 so on the elements in set A. Set B will contain elements like 7, 14, 21, 28, multiple of 7. Continue. And set C, multiple of 12. 12, 24, 36, 48 and so on. So from above 3 sets, A, B and C, we can, these all sets, can you see? These all numbers comes under natural number, under whole numbers also and under integers also because integers are positive and negative numbers. So we can consider as natural number whole number or integers as a universal set. Now move to next question of this part. P equal to set of integers which are multiple of 4 and T equal to set of all even square numbers. So first let's write down in listing method. Now P set contains what set of integers multiple of 4. So 4 table we have to write 4, 8, 12, then 16 so on and set T contains elements 4, 16, 36. What is the question given? All even square numbers. So even numbers are 2, 4, 
6. So 2 square is 4. Then 4 square, 16, so on. Now in both the set, this both set comes as natural number. We can consider subset. We can consider as whole number as subset. And this one for integers also, this P and T would be the subset of integers also. So natural number, whole number or integers are as a universal set can be taken as universal set. Now students, we will move to question number 7, the last question of this exercise. Let all the student of class is a universal set. Let set A be the students who secure 50% or more marks in maths. Then write the complement of set A. In previous lecture, you have learned what is complement of set. Now, the complement of set A is the set of student who secure less marks, less than 50% marks in maths. Now, students, we have completed our exercise 1.3. So, before moving to exercise 1.4, I will explain you a few concepts. Operation on sets. Now, as you know students, operation on sets. As you know, operation on numbers, then what comes in your mind? Addition between numbers, subtraction between numbers, division, multiplication. Same way, now what is operation on sets? There are two concepts to be learned under operation of set. First one is intersection of two sets. And the next one is union of two sets. Now, what is intersection of two sets? Intersection of two sets means suppose A and B are two sets. The set of all common elements of A and B is called intersection of set A and B. It is denoted as A intersection B. I have highlighted the intersection symbol with red. So, that is a symbol for intersection. Now, for more clear, the concept I have taken one example. Set A contains elements 1, 3, 5, 7 and set B contains element 2, 3, 6, 8. Now student in both the set can you see element 3 is common. So A intersection B equal to 3 means one single element is common among both the set. So the A intersection B is written as this manner equal to 3 only single element. Now Next concept, union of two sets. Now, by word itself, union means both common, means all the elements common. You have to unite the both sets. Now, suppose A and B are two sets. The set of all elements of A and B is called union of set A and B. It is denoted as A union B. Like U, the symbol of union is U. Example, Set A contains element 1, 3, 5, 7 and set B contains element 2, 3, 6, 8. Now A union B means combining both the set and one thing you know in set no repetition of elements is taken in the set. So what are the elements will be coming in A union B? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8 combining both the set elements. That is what is known as union of two set. These are two operations what we will be following in operation on set. Now there is one more concept student disjoint set. Disjoint set means when two sets suppose two set A and B are two set given. The set in which not a single element is common. That set will be known as disjoint set. Now example set A equal to it contains element 1, 3, 5, 7 and set B contains element 2, 4, 6, 8. Now student in both the set do we see any elements common? No. So such sets are known as disjoint sets. Now student one more concept number of element in a set. Now the word itself number of element means we have to count the number of element present in the set. Now I have taken an example 
Like set A contains element 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Now total number of elements we can see is 5. So number of cell number of element in set A is denoted by n that is small n and in bracket you have to write the set name. So n of A. Now if you see how to denote it n of A equal to total number of elements that is 5. This is what is number of elements in set. Now students there is a relation between number of elements in union and intersection of set. So number of elements in union. So you know union means combining both the sets and intersection of set means taking common elements. So what number of elements. Now what is the relation? It That is the formula n of a union b equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b. So by this formula we can solve any of the sums. Now we'll start with exercise 1.4. The question is if n of a equal to 15 means number of elements in set a is given 15 and number of elements in a union b equal to 29 and number of elements in a intersection b equal to 7 then find number of elements in set b. So by using the previous formula which I explained we can find n of a union b equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b. Now we will substitute the given values in this formula. So n of a union b is 29. So in place of that we will substitute 29 equal to n of a is 15. We will substitute value 15 plus n of b we have to find so we will keep as it is minus n of a intersection b is given as 7 we will substitute 7 so now we will bring the variable number to one side and the variable to one side so n of b equal to 29 minus 15 plus 7 so when you will solve it 29 minus 15 plus 7 you will get n of b equal to 21 similarly if any other element uh, set number of elements to find of a set we can find by using this formula so now students will continue further exercise in our next lecture so thank you stay home stay safe